तथा कृपयाविष्ट अश्रुपूर्ण कुलेक्षण विशीद वाक्यम उवाच मधुसूदन मधुसूदन कृष्ण इज डिस्क्राइब हिय एज मधुसूदन दिलर ऑफ द डिमांड मधु मधु कई टो आभार अर्जुन वाज एटैक्ट बाय ए डिमांड ऑफ फॉर गेटिंग इज ड्यूटी बीइंग टू मच एफ्लिक्टेड बाय बॉडीली रिलेशंस This is our position in this material world. We are so much attached to this bodily relationship that it is to be considered uh, just like we are ghostly haunted in a uh, poetry, Prem Vivarta. It is said that pishachi paile jano moti channa hoy. Mayagastha jiveri sahi dasha upajjat. Mayagastha jiv. Mayagastha maya means illusion, uh, hallucination. So, we are in this material world we are all illusion illusion means accepting something as fact which is not something uh, just like in dream we see sometimes i'm attacked with a tiger my head is being cut off so many things so actually there is no tiger my head is not being cut off but still i am crying oh here is a tiger here is a tiger so our attachment for this world is like that it is illusion ah uh, i am thinking that without me everything will be spoiled my presence is required and so on so on just like sometimes our political leaders each and every one of them think that without him the whole situation will be spoiled ah even mahatma gandhi he was so attached that he would not retire from political life unless he was killed the attachment was so strong but after passing away of mahatma gandhi or jawaharlal nehru or so many big big leaders the world is going on there is a bengali proverb that when the king dies it does not mean the kingdom stops the kingdom goes on but when so long the leader or the person in charge remains there uh, he thinks that without me everything will be spoiled this is called maya this is called illusion according to vedic system therefore there is force renunciation nobody wants to retire from family life but the vedic injunction is that after one has passed 50 years he must leave his family panchasa dham banam brajet in the beginning 
as a student like his trainer, Brahmachari, undergoing severe austerities, penances, and taking instruction from the spiritual master about the temporary existence of this material world. In this way, he is trained up very nicely. And even after training, if he appears to be attached to this material world, he is allowed to go home and marry. And some of the brahmacharis are <coughs> allowed to remain noistic brahmacharis without going home and accepting uh, uh, a wife. But one who cannot, he is allowed to accept wife and become a householder and remain there for twenty-five years because generally the brahmacari was going home at the age of twenty-four years, twenty-five years. So after marriage he may get a child. So living there for twenty-five years means the child is grown up. Then the husband and wife takes leave, not leaving for good, but manaprast, uh, traveling in pilgrimages like <coughs> Vrindavan, Prayag. That was the system. And after two months again he comes back and he remains home. For another two months again goes out in this way. The whole process is how to give up attachment from this family life, from this world. And when he is trained up fully, he takes annas. That is our Vedic system. So the attachment of this material world is very strong. That is stated in the Simad Bhagavatam by uh, Rishabde. Pumshang Sriyami Thuni Tat. This whole material world is an attachment of uh, male and female. Pumshang Sriya. Mithuni bhava, sex impulse attachment. Tayor mitha vidayaganti mahu. And when they are married, when they are united, then it becomes a hard knot in the heart. Atat vyat chetra sutapta vittai janasamo hoyam ahangam meti. Then gradually, after being united, one becomes attached to griha, home, apartment, chetra. Formerly there was no industry, so everyone must have some land to produce food. Griha, chetra, shuta, then children, apta, friends, vitta, then money, because without money, Nothing can be maintained. Atagriya chetra sutartha vittai janasya moha. He becomes more and more illusioned. And ahang mameti, oh, this is my country, this is my family, this is my house, this is my children, so on, so on, oh, mama, mine, and I am this person, I am this body. This is illusion. So Arjun appeared to be illusion. Ah. Now how I shall fight with my brothers and grandfather on the other side? Ah. He became so much illusion. Tantatha He became illusion, not unnecessarily. He was very much compassionate. compassionate with his family members. Kipayavishta, Asupurna Kulekshanam, and he was crying, 
there was tears in his eyes. Vishidantam idam bakam. And he was lamenting in this way. How shall I fight? <coughs> so Krishna then began to speak. Krishna saw that my friend Arjun has become too much illusion. So uh, <coughs> he wanted to kill the demon of illusion. Therefore he is mentioned here as Madhusudana. Uh, Krishna comes. He has got two business. Paritrana sadhana vinasaya duskita. Side by side, giving protection to his devotees. Sadhu. Sadhu means devotee. Uh, devotee of Krishna is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita as sadhu. Apiche sudurachara bhajati maam ananna bha. Sadhu deva samanta. One who is uh, strictly a pure devotee of Krishna, he is mentioned as sadhu. Sadhu deva samanta. Sammak vavasita he is He is first class sadhu. Uh, even if he is a grihastha, it doesn't matter. Generally we understand sadhu means with uh, saffron cloth. No. Sadhu's qualification he is that he must be a pure devotee of Krishna. Uh, sadhava sadhu bhushana. Uh, sadhava sadhu bhushana. Uh. <coughs> so now Krishna speaks. See Bhagavan was. Bhagavan. This Bhagavan means one who is full with six kinds of opulences. He is called Bhagavan. Vaisajasya, Samagrasya, Bijasya, Jasasya, Sriya, Jnana, Vaira, Gaishchaiva, Sarayati, Bhagangana. Bhava. Bhagavan and Krishna. Krishna means all attractive. Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Krishna Stu Bhagavan Sayam. There are other great personalities. Lord Shiva is also some, sometimes described as Bhagavan. Similarly, Lord Brahma, Narada, others are also sometimes described as Bhagavan. But real Bhagavan means Krishna. They are, they are Bhagavan, partial. All these things have been very much carefully analyzed by Srila Rupa Goswami. He has analyzed in the Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu, which we have translated into English, nectar of devotion. He has analyzed that Krishna is cent percent Bhagavan. And Narayan is ninety-four percent Bhagavan. And Lord Shiva is eighty-four percent. And all other living entities, all living entities we are, we are minutely seventy-eight uh, percent Bhagavan. That means when you come to the perfection of life, when you are actually in the spiritual stage, then you are, you have got the qualities of Bhagavan in minute quantity, but not all the qualities, eighty, seventy-eight parts. These have been very nicely analyzed in Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu. And the Shastra says also, Krishnastu Bhagavan Sayam. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a list of all the incarnations. A such and such incarnation appears for such and such particular activities. In, the, in that incarnation list, uh, there is 
name of Lord Ramchandra also, Lord Buddha also. Uh, Buddha's name is also there. But in the conclusive portion, it is declared there, Ete chansa kala pumsa krishna stu bhagavan sa. In the at least the name of Lord Krishna, Lord Balaram is there also. But the conclusion is given by Vyasthe that <coughs> except Krishna, all others, they are a plenary expansion of Krishna or part of plenary expansion of Krishna, angsha kala. Angsha means direct expansion. And kala means <coughs> expansion of the secondary expansion. So it is concluded there that iti chamsukala punsa, all these incarnations, they are either angsha or kala. But Krishna, the name Krishna, Krishna stu Bhavan Swayam. He is the original personality of God, Krishna. Oh, the same thing here Bhasdev described. Si Bhagavan Uvach. Oh, he is not ordinary person. Uh, Bhagavan is speaking. Uh, Bhagavan means what is Bhagavan? Oishadja. Oishadja means riches. Nobody can be richer than Bhagavan. We have got our ideas of richness. Ah, I may be rich, but you are richer than me. Somebody is richer than you, somebody is richer than another, another, another. You go, <coughs> make proceed. Ah, when you find out the final richest person, that is Bhagavan. Aishadyasya samag- samagras, all riches, ah, not that partial. <coughs> one may have one thousand, another may have one lakh, one may have one crore, but nobody can say that I have got all the monies. No, that is not possible. But Bhagavan has all the monies. Aishadyasya ah. samagrasya, bijasya, similarly strength bodily strength or power. Oishadyasya samagrasya bijasya jasasya. And similarly, reputation. Ah, we are also reputed. Ah, but nobody can be reputed than Krishna. Ah, just like five thousand years ago, he spoke this Bhagavad Gita. And he so reputed that Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita, and he still it is running on, not only in India, but we are traveling all over the world. There are so many editions of Bhagavad Gita. So he so reputed. So he said, Jasa Savagrasa, Bijasa, Jasasa, Sriya, and beautiful, the most beautiful. Krishna, most attract, just as such jnana, knowledge. Now, uh, Krishna's knowledge, there is no limit. Still, the knowledge, the book of knowledge which has given this Bhagavad Gita, there is no comparison. There is no second book in the whole world which contains so full of knowledge. So jnana. And Bhairagya also. Oh. In spite of all the property of Krishna, uh, Krishna doesn't care for this material world. Uh, uh, he is busy in the spiritual world. Uh, Radha Madhava, Kunya Vihari, he is busy in Vrindavan. Uh, he has many servants, just big man has got many secretaries, servants, they look after. Similarly, uh, in this material world, he is the representative. Uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha, they are managing the affairs of this whole universe. Uh, but he is enjoying and Vrindavan. 
जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी ही हैज नो कंसर्न ही डजन केयर वॉट इज हैपनिंग हियर बट इट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट ही डजन केयर बट ही हैज नो एंगजाइटी हाउ द थिंग्स आर बींग मैनेज वेन इट इज मिस मैनेज देन समटाइम्स कृष्ण कम्स इन इज बासुदेव फॉर नॉट द ओरिजिनल कृष्ण ओरिजिनल कृष्ण नेवर लीव्स वृंदावन पादों में कम न गच्छ इज ऑलवेज इन इज अबोट चिंतामणि प्रकर सदमसु कल्प वृक्ष लखावृतेषु सुरभिपाल लक्ष्मी सहस्रशत संभ्रम सेव्यम गोविंद आदि पुरुषम तम हम भजा ही इज वेरी मच एडियर टू इज काउज सुरभि रविपाल एंड इज सराउंडेड बाय हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ गॉडेस ऑफ फॉर्चून दिस गोपीज ही सराउंडेड लक्ष्मी सहस्र शत संभ्रम सेव्यम we are we are praying goddess of fortune uh, to have some favor but in the spiritual world krishna is served by hundred and thousands of goddess of fortune this is krishna's position so i do not know why foolish people they do not understand what is god everything is there uh, and he comes also personally not only the god's name address activities and everything is there but he comes personally also he proves krishna he proves that he is the supreme personality of god when krishna was present uh, he proved All these things, aishad jasa samagrasa, bid jasa jasa sastriya, he proved. Uh, he had sixteen thousand wives, and each wife a big palace held building of marble, bedecked with jewels and guarded with parijat flowers. These are description. Uh, nobody can maintain sixteen thousand wives. In sixteen thousand palaces. Uh, not only that, not that if he enters in one palace, he leaves with one wife. The other wives are better. No, he expands himself into sixteen thousand forms. And with each wife who is living comfortably, each wife had ten children, and those children. Also had each child, children, grandsons. In this way, Krishna's family was more than one crore, just once. So, if you study from material point of view, when Krishna was present, he proved that he is Bhagwan. And Bhagwan means not a big beard and meditation. Krishna never became Bhagwan by meditation. He was not a manufactured god. He is God, all else. Uh, he is not. He, he is not manufactured. Uh, when he was on the lap of his mother Jasoda, he was God. Uh, the Putana came to kill him, but Krishna killed him. Uh, in this way, if we read the life of Krishna, he is proved Bhagwan. <coughs> Not only he proved himself, but all others, great authorities, accepted him. Bhagwan. There are four Vaishnava charges in the recent years, and one Mahabad charge, Shankara charge, Shankara charge also, although. He is inclined to the impersonal feature of the Lord, but he accepted Krishna, Sabagavan Sang Krishna. 
He accepted. Uh, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. Narayan. Narayan of Bhaktiya. So, other Vishnava Acharya, Ramanuja Acharya, uh, Madhya Acharya, Vishnu Shami, Nimbarka, lately Lord Chaitanya, uh, all of them accepted. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. And <coughs> Arjun, he also, when he heard from him Bhagavad Gita, he accepted him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Parabrahma param dhama pavitram paramam bhavan purusam shasatam. So Krishna is accepted universally, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, why people are making research? Where is God? I do not know. Uh, why they are uselessly uh, taking so much hard labor to search out God? Here is God, Krishna, Bhagavan Vacha. Uh, so uh, there is no reason, there is no uh, I mean, the chance of. Uh, 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 not accepting Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. Krishna personally says uh, that matta paradaram nanyat kinchida sthi dhananjaya. There is no more superior element above me. Aham sarvasya prabhava. I am the origin of uh, everything. Aham uh, Adi Devanam. There are so many statesmen. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. So, anyone who is actually serious about uh, understanding about the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, there is no difficulty. But because we are obstinate, because we are sinful, because we are lowest of the mankind, because our knowledge has been taken away by Maya, and because we are atheists, we do not accept Krishna as the Supreme Personality. Otherwise there is no reason. Krishna therefore describes, namāṁ duskitanaṁ mūrhā prapadyante narādhama. Unless one is duskritina, uh, all is uh, miscreants, full of sinful life. He cannot deny Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, so our, this Krishna Consciousness Movement is preaching all over the world that you are all uh, advanced in civilization and advanced in scientific knowledge and advance in everything. But we are missing one thing, God, Krishna. Uh, so here is God, here is Krishna. You try to understand Krishna and be Krishna conscious and make your life successful. That is our propaganda. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. They ask you one question. Yes. There is bhajan singing, yeah. which I can understand the words. I could, the bhajan, Hare Krishna. Or any yeah. bhajan of God. Yeah. When you say understand language and everything, you see if it is uh, you know, just like Mirabai, then crying, tear comes from my eyes. You know, and if he is laughing, he is very instant laughing, laugh. Yeah. And uh, there is then no God. further progress. Uh, there is Astrasatik Vikar. Yes, that is called vikar, transformation of a spiritual platform. Yes. There is still there is something more, something more. No, that is the mm. when one cries, yes. transform. That means he is realizing Krishna. Yes, he is realize, realize. yes, yes. right. Yes. That is realized. Yes. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also used to be there. Yes. That is high stage, Mahabha. Mahabha. Yes, sir, just in that. Yes. So when I go in bhajan, you see, I wash my mouth, everything. 
I still feel myself that there is only soul, no, no body. And you see the man who sings or who are present, you see, they are yeah. also no, no body. Yes, yeah, no perfect, soul. all material. All these things, yeah. and then these things yeah. come. That is perfection, a liberated state. Yes. yes. Have you explained anything about this in your Gita 15, uh, you see, these three books? Yeah. Gita is just to understand what is God. God. And then when you are actually engaged in God's service, these yes. things come. Yes. Uh, that is higher stage. Yes. Gita is the ABCD of understanding God. So it will give some more reflection. Yes, the, but yes. If, if we accept the ABCD, yes. then we come to literature, then we pass an examination. Yes. Yes. So Gita is the preliminary step, first step yes. of understanding God. I am reading Gita from my childhood, so I like Gita, you see Gita. Very good. Yes, so uh, I think yes, your Gita will give some more, you see, reflection. Yes, I am explaining as it is. I am not interpreting. Yes. Uh, that is the... Uh, so it is being accepted. So I should read it. So just Thank that you. is English. I should read it. Very good. Very good. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Yes, let us discuss. Ah. Ah. So, if we do our work, so perfect you can't do it. Otherwise, uh, then why is it necessary? So I am, uh, I am a perfect body. But the, the question you see, I will doing all the things born tonight, all the worldly duties, sincerely, you know, that's the capacity. Why uh, it is necessary or inevitable? So I am a Brahmin and I am really worshiping God. But why it is necessary, it is must do every now and then. <coughs> yes, if your life is so, Man, that in every step you are feeling presence of Krishna, Krishna then it is Krishna consciousness. Uh, he, that is the first class yoga, as it is confirmed by Krishna. Yoginam api sarvesam madgata antaratmana suddhyaman bhajati jumam sami jutta tamo. Just like these boys, they are being trained up to think of Krishna twenty-four hours. Kirtaniya Sadahari. They are, uh, just like we have constructed the splendor, our business is to preach Krishna. So the energy employed for constructing this temple, uh, that is also Krishna. That energy. Uh, somebody is doing anything, nidbandi, Krishna sambandi, yukta vairagya muchyat. Uh, if our activities are always adopted for Krishna's satisfaction, uh, that is called vairagya. Vairagya. A man is engaged in business, that's all right. But if the fruit of that business is made uh, is meant for Krishna, then sakarmana tamabhaj. That is sakarma. Generally, we work for our sense gratification. Uh, I have got this money, I must use for my sense gratification or for my relative sense gratification or for my country's sense gratification, for my society's sense gratification. This is materialism. But when the same thing is turned for Krishna's sense gratification, that is spiritual. That is the difference between prem and calm. Calm. It has been very simplified by uh, Kaviraj, Krishnadas Goswami in his Chaitanya Charitamrita. 
आत्मेंद्रिय तृप्ति बांछा तार नाम कम आत्मेंद्रिय तृप्ति इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेटिस्फाई योर सेंस एज दैट इज कॉल्ड कम लास्ट कृष्णेंद्रिय तृप्ति बांछा धरे प्रेम नाम The same thing when you try to satisfy the senses of Krishna, that is called prayer. Uh, so we have to divert the activities for Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. That is Arjun. Arjun, he in the beginning he denied to fight that uh, our subject matter. Uh, he was crying, no, no, I cannot fight. So apparently Arjun was very nice gentleman that he is forgetting his claim over the kingdom. Uh, he is non-violent. He is not willing to fight with his brothers, and he was crying so compassionate. So from materialistic point of view, he was uh, very nice. But immediately, as we will begin tomorrow, Krishna says that why you are thinking like anarja, anarja, anarja justa. This kind of thinking is not for Aryas, Aryans. It is for the non-Aryans. It is not. And the whole Bhagavad Gita was spoken to John to make him Arya. And at the end, Krishna inquired from Arjun, "What is your decision? Jate chasi tatha kuru." But Krishna, Arjun replied, "Kuri se tat bachana, kuri se bachana." Now I shall fight. And Krishna gave him certificate, "Bhakto si, priyo si, you are my dear friend and my great devotee." Now, fighting is not very good business, killing. But sometimes, by killing, uh, one can become a great devotee of Krishna. He was a warrior, fighter. His business was to fight, but he fought for Krishna, and then he became a devotee. That is sakarmana kama. He. Arjun, Brahman, and Khatriya. Similarly, our main sakarma, uh, uh, guna karma, vibhagas. Our according to Vedic system, there are four divisions: uh, chatur, varna, maya, system, guna karma, vibhagas. Uh, not by birth, but by quality and actual activities. Uh, so. There are brahmanas, there are chhatriyas, there are vaishyas, there are sudras, there are brahmachari, there are dhyastha, manaprastha, sannyas. So everyone should be engaged to satisfy Krishna. <coughs> that is the whole philosophy. Sakarmana tamam karcha. You work as brahmin, you work as a chhatriya, you work as a vaishya. Or Sudra, it doesn't matter. Uh, even uh, Krishna has advised that if you, even if you think that I am working as a Vaishya, it is not very good uh, because sometimes I have to speak lie for business sake, and Brahmana's business is very nice. No, uh, Krishna has advised sadosam apinatajit. Even in your profession, there are so many faults. You should not give it. You should go on. But the result must be given to Krishna. That is the secret. You may work as a brahmin, as a chhatriya, as a businessman, as an engineer, as a doctor, as a warrior. Whatever you may, be, it is never condemned. No work is condemned. Every work is dignified, provided it is meant for Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. Chant. <coughs>